stand up and tell the class, what do you want to do with your life? I want to rock! Okay, so here we go. First, I take this spray paint and I spray paint over all of the seams and I cover all the foam rock bits so everything is one uniform color, kind of like you see here. And then I take a uh, darker color like this matte coffee bean and I just kind of spray it into the creases in the deep parts of the rock to give it a little bit more depth. It really makes your painting a little bit quicker in the long run. So next I take a house paint, like an acrylic water-based paint, and I just tip the rock. Then I, that's the wrong color. So let me grab the right one. <laughs> I take a like dark brown mixed with water, and then I spray it over top of that rock while that tip paint is still kind of wet. It really kind of helps muddle those colors in. I try to spray really dark in the cracks, kind of lighter over the surface area, and it starts to really come to life. And now I can use my green. So this is just green water-based paint mixed with water. Uh, we take this mossy stuff because we're kind of going for like a, a wet, jungly type rock scene since tigers really like to be around water a lot. So I just kind of throw it on the wet paint. It sticks pretty well. Um, I go back in there and kind of touch up different areas with that water-based paint that might need a little extra. Um, it really also kind of helps to lock in the moss. Another thing is this matte clear. Seals in all those colors, helps seal in that flocking, and uh, really just adds some pizzazz to it. The customer wanted just a clean rock base, and I think it turned out pretty nice. 